The Tennessee River cuts its way through rural and urban areas, including this sweeping bend near the UT campus in Knoxville. Called the Amazon of North America because of its hundreds of species of fish, and with a 40,000 square mile watershed, it's the lifeblood of this region. Recently, UT architecture and landscape architecture students in the Governor's Chair Tennessee River Studio mapped, toured, and researched the waterway. Brad Collett with UT's Institute of Agriculture and the College of Architecture and Design led the group, looking to preserve the river for years to come. So the Tennessee River is the most biodiverse river in North America, and so protecting that is, uh, is an essential uh, objective of, um, uh, of the studio and kind of the way that we're thinking about it. But also it's an important economic resource in the way that it drives tourism. It provides opportunities for agriculture and for industry. Here are the numbers for this impressive journey. Four states, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, and Kentucky. More than 1,100 miles covered, and all in just five days. Mile zero was where the French Broad and Holston Rivers in Knox County come together, the Big River's actual beginning. From there, the group went all the way to Paducah, Kentucky, studying the geography of the watershed and issues like climate, energy, and economic impact. So when we got really on the ground and were able to get by the river and see what, what that texture of the river was like, what industry, who was actually out there meeting different organizations, it really put a face to all the research that we had done. Well, you know, I think it's one thing for students to, to study the river in an academic laboratory in the classroom, but to get out and actually see it and to interact with stakeholders, uh, individuals who are interacting with the river every day, uh, is an incredibly valuable experience for the students, so they get that first-hand knowledge. These young explorers will now take the information they gathered and develop architectural design strategies. Students say the mapping and boots-on-the-ground tour was a valuable experience, and they saw from the water's edge the Tennessee River has history, influence, and lessons to teach. This is Charles Denny reporting.